Hello everyone, it's Lurks here. Welcome to my channel and today the Hot Point Aquarius washing machine. How to clean it out. So this is cleaning the tray up here and also taking out the filter at the bottom of the washing machine, making sure that's nice and clean. Right, let's get cracking. God, stop I need you to help me, not fanning about. Stop shouting at me. Before we get started, there's a link above now about how to remove the cistern lid on a dual push button toilet. Okay, this is the washing machine here and the filter that we're going to clean at the bottom in the manual, they actually call it cleaning the pump, but really it's the filter in front of the pump. First thing we'll do is just check inside the washing machine, this rubber seal here. I mean, this will be quite dirty, but if there's any bits of dirt or sludge in there, make sure you clean those out. You've got a drainage hole there in the middle, that isn't a rip. So give that a good clean. And then if we open the detergent dispenser drawer, then what you do is you pull it out towards you and then it comes off a little clip and then just raise it at the side there. And then you can just take out this blue thing. That's where the conditioner goes. And then you just slide it all the way out. And you can see how dirty it is. It is covered in mold and gunk and old washing detergent. So I'm just gonna put that in the sink and we'll wash that up a bit later on. And look at it inside the drawer here. Pretty disgusting. Not good at all. Okay, and at the bottom we've got this cover here. So you just take a flat bladed screwdriver and you're basically just prising this off. Be careful, I mean, it's not on very tight. <clears throat> Once it pops out a little bit, you can just get your fingers behind there and just pop it off. While I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC windows and make them stay clean. Okay, so this is the filter here, which is on the pump. Now to remove this, you just turn it anti-clockwise, but make sure you get a couple of decent sized cloths on the floor because it will spill water everywhere and it will smell. Trust me, it will smell a little bit. You shouldn't get tons of water, but enough to think, yeah, you just need a cloth down there. So just as that drains off, just squeeze that out into the sink and then put the cloth back down. You can see it's quite dirty. And there is a link above now about how to clean your thermos flask inside the easy way. Then we'll just take out the filter completely by just unscrewing it anti-clockwise. So just keep going. Now on this one, it's probably never been off. So it is quite stiff. So all I did is I got a pair of big pliers just to give me a bit of extra leverage but with the pliers don't squeeze them really tight because you do not want to break the plastic it's just to give you a little bit of extra leverage so there we go so it's nice and loose now and then once it's completely unscrewed then you can just pull it out and there we go and this one's actually looking pretty good. I mean, sometimes when you pull these out, they've got hair clips in and coins and all sorts. But all this has got on it is just a little bit of sludge. So we can clean that, clean that off in a minute. Now what I'm going to do now is just take my wife's toothbrush and just get it in there. That's the pump there. And just pull out any bits of sludge which are inside there. There is a link above now about how to tell which side your fuel filler cap is on. So you're just pulling out any bits of sludge and dirt and hairs and all sorts. So just making it, making sure it's nice and clean. I won't show you all of this footage because that took a couple of minutes to clean out. So let's go to the sink. I'm just going to clean the dispenser drawer here and the filter. And I'll speed this up. I'm just using my wife's toothbrush again, just to clean off any sludge. So that's all looking good now, looking a lot better. 
and we're just going to clean the dispenser drawer as well again I'll cut this short because I spent three or four minutes cleaning this all off and this is what it's like after I finish so spick and span now we're going to go back to the drawer that that goes in and give this a clean now I'm just going to start off with some kitchen roll just to get that sludge out of that's the old detergent once I've got that out I'm then going to get a wet cloth with a bit of detergent and then clean the rest of it out now the access in here is quite difficult so I did start using a toothbrush but this is not a good idea because if you accidentally let go of that toothbrush which is very easy it could disappear down the pipe there which where all the water goes into the washing machine once that toothbrush disappears you're in trouble it's really hard to film this and clean it at the same time so I'm just going to go in and clean it without filming then I'll see you in a minute so I'm just cleaning it with a damp cloth here and a bit of detergent and you will get some scraped knuckles and skin my hands are quite big I mean they're not Andre the Giant big but they're reasonable size and there is not much space in here right I've cleaned it as best as I can we live in a hard water area so it's hard to get it absolutely spotless because you've got lots of scale and lime scale and yeah but it's good enough let's have a look okay so this is what it looks like now after I've cleaned it all out so this is looking really really good and that's what it looked like before pretty disgusting and that's what it looks like now so that is looking really much better that is looking really good in there so what we need to do now is put the dispenser detergent drawer back remember to put the blue cover back in this is where the conditioner goes now there is a trick to doing this i have putting it in here and it's not quite fitting properly but you've got to make sure that this arrow is in this groove there there you go you've got two arrows there make sure that's on the outside so you can see it otherwise it won't fit properly then what you do is slide it onto that rail so make sure it's on that rail then if you look underneath there's another rail there and it should line up with that once you're happy that it's on those rails you just keep pushing it until it hits that metal bar at the back and it just clips in there we go and then lift the tray slightly and there we go so that is now back in there now we're going to put the filter back in that's the thread there so just offer it in gently and just turn it clockwise I think it goes round about twice and then you lock it in the vertical position there now I'm not going to put the cover back on just yet the white cover that goes across the bottom because I'm just going to put the washing machine onto the rinse mode just to rinse it all through because I've been using detergent I don't want my wife to put all her clothes in there and then wash them and they all come out bleached so I'm just going to use the rinse cycle which is cycle A just to rinse it all through with fresh water and there is a link above now about how to test car fuses without pulling them out using a multimeter there we go and there's my uh, scrazed knuckle <laughs> and start the reason I'm doing this without the cover on the bottom is I just want to make sure that the filter that I've screwed back in isn't going to leak So that's what I'm checking to make sure there's no water coming out of that, that I've got it nice and tight. You can't really over tighten it because it just locks in but there we go look there's no leaks and we've got lots of water in the washing machine so that's all looking good so we can now put the cover back on. So the clip's going at the bottom first. Once they're in at the bottom you just tap it in at the top and it just clicks in there we go and then it's very important that you put your wife's toothbrush back in the bathroom as if nothing ever happened actually I am joking about that that is not my wife's toothbrush that is a spare one which I use for work oh what is this oh it's only a lovely cup of tea superb after all that hard work it's time for a lovely cup of tea oh if you found that video useful please subscribe by pressing this button down here i really do appreciate you visiting my channel guys and girls 
if you'd like to select any other videos around here that would be really cool and be sure to hit that bell notification tab